in my last video we were able to go around our WordPress dashboard we were also able to download all the plugins that we need to be able to create our website and in this video I'm going to show you how we are going to create our home page I have a video on how you can use a free WordPress dashboard to practice with this is what that this is exactly what I'm going to be using to show you how we are going to be creating this home page this particular home page is what we are going to create in this video and I'm going to show you exactly how I was able to do this and I'm going to be using a practice site to show you how to do that so quickly let's create page we go to pages go to add new and we are going to um, name our page as the home page we'll now add a title as I said we're calling it home page capital home page and then click publish and then we are going to go to this um, content layout and then click the arrow and then click on full width because we don't want anything to be showing on our sidebar on our home page and then we go to um, title we are going to disable everything good so once you're done with that we'll now check out how our home page looks like this is our home page we still need to get rid of this so we still go back we still go back to the dashboard so back at our edit home page section we are now going to scroll down go to sidebar click down and uh, edit content layout full width yes full width I think that should take care of that then the margins disable margins and then update and then we'll go back and look at it again so we are back at the home page and this is what we want everything is clear no side bar nothing so we're now going to start working on our home page overlook this because I'm using this particular um, uh, practice WordPress site that is why this is there but when you're using your real WordPress site this will not be there you just see your home here and everything will be clear so we we'll now start to edit this home page click on edit page click with edit with Elementor So it takes us to this page and what we are going to do, we are going to click on this to add our templates that we are going to start customizing. Now this is the template we are going to be using. This is a template we are going to be using as you can see it's exactly remember I've showed you what we are making this is what we are making and that is the template we are going to be using so all you have to do is to click insert this template and because we are new 
um, Elementor is going to ask you to click to get started and it's going to ask you for an email. So you're going to put in your email and sign up for this Elementor. Once you've done that, sign up your email with Elementor immediately. You get your template on your site. That's it. That's the template. All we have to do is to just change whatever we want to change here. Add whatever pictures we want to add. Change whatever colors we want to change. The first thing here, let's get our video here. So just click on this. And maybe, of course, you must have done your video. So you need to um, make sure that your video is ready to put in here. Once you click on that, you now go to... So first of all, click on it to highlight this. And then... We'll go to... Go to edit video, click on it, and this comes out, and then we click on style. Once we click on the style, um, sorry, click on it. Once you click on it and click on this edit video. This opens up for you. Then all we have to do is to get your YouTube video you've already created that you want to appear here. Most likely a one to two minute video. A video that is not too long. Something to introduce your website to people. So all we have to do is to click here, remove this link here. And then replace it with your own link. Move that. So I'm going to go to my YouTube. I'm going to copy the video I want to put there. Copy it. Copy the link. Then we go back there. And then place the link right here. So that's the video that I want to put there. That's quite simple to do. Then we go here, you write whatever you want to write. This is where you can do that, how to make a website. Whatever you want to write, you can write it. Like I wrote something like... Um, your talent will bring you before kings and then you can change the color you want you go to style change the text color to whatever color you, you want it to be and change the text color maybe make it yellow Make it maybe a little bit dark or a little bit uh, whatever color you want. Just change it, okay? That's all right. Keep it like that. You can change the type typography. That is the style of the font as you want. You can make it heavy. Let's make the width maybe around uh, 800. That's a little bit heavy. Then we can change our font to whatever font we want here. The family of the font. Whatever font you want to change it to, you can change it to here. Let's see. Let me change it to Montserrat. Right. 
when you come here you can write whatever you want to write here and also change the font it's quite easy all you have to do is write whatever you want to write here and it reflects here and you go to style and change the color of your text to whatever color you want align it the way you want you want to align it in the center you want to change the text color maybe to black you change it to black whatever color you want to change it to you can do that it's quite um, easy to do let's make it a little bit so that it can be seen so once you've done the black you can see it's not very clear what you do simply go to um, typography and we increase the weight of the words to 900 as you can see it now comes out very well so you can play you can play with it the family here is popping so you can change the family the font that you want and it will change to whatever font that you want now for this particular place you need to connect it to uh, to a link to a landing page so, so there are a lot of videos online where you can learn how to do free landing pages so just connect this link so that once somebody clicks here, it will take them to that particular page. And this is where you put your link that will take you to that particular place. And that is all there is about this section of the home page. The next section is quite easy. Just click there. change whatever you want to change you can change this image by changing the image here go to the icon library and change the image to whatever image you want put up whatever right up you want to put up here what is your website for do a summary and put it here you can change the wordings or the typography or the weight of the words as i've shown you before and then here you want to change this picture it's quite easy click on it go here choose an image upload file i want to upload an image from my computer onto my media library so i'm going to upload this from my computer open it and i want to upload some other pictures that I may want to use I'll go back again select files and I'm going to need this picture load it there so I've uploaded all the pictures I'm going to need for this work so the first one I'm going to put in is that Insert media and there you have it so whatever picture you want to put in there you're free to put in there it's quite easy to do you go down again and i want to change all these pictures to of course my picture so click on that get here to choose image click on my image insert the media as you can see it's very 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 big so just go here and click down and go to thumbnail and it goes down to that picture I'm going to do that for the three choose image you can put the image of um, if you have a lot of people that are going to be writing on your blog or you're going to put in something from somebody else you can also put different pictures or you have a group of people that are running your company you can also put their pictures here if you want but as you saw from the um, as you saw from the video i showed to you i 
I have my pictures in the frame because I want to upload my videos there. So good. So all I have to do now is to change all the names to my name. See the name here. Just put your name there. The one name you want to put. Mm. Just put your name there. It's quite easy. So that is done. The next thing we are, we are going to do The next thing we are going to do, I want to put in, I want to remove this. Remove this completely. Click here to remove it. Delete. Delete. So what I want to do, I want to put in a video here. I want a little write-up of what the video is all about, but I also want to put in a video here. So what I will do now, I will click here. And I'll look for video and I'll bring it up here. Super. Now what I'll do now, I'll go and bring in my YouTube video, the video I want to put there and I'm going to put it right there. So before you do your website, you need to ensure that you've done your videos or whatever you want to put in in these places. So that when you get to those places, all you have to do is to copy your link and just place it there. I have the links I want to put there. Getting um, a domain name link. This is my YouTube link that I want to put there. I've already copied it and placed it on my google documents so i'll just transfer it here paste it there and the video is live there then write the title of the video right here this is a video of how to register your clear this all out Move it and just write this is a short video on how to register your domain name. So, so that, is, that is that is how I got to look at the website. That is it. That is it. So that is how I did this. So it's the same method I would just do to, to the three. If you have videos, if you don't have videos, you can just put up a write up there. Depends on you. However you want to design it, depends on you. So that's just the way to do it. I can do it once again so that you just um, understand me better. Delete that completely. And then go here, click on video, carry it up here, take it there. What's up? It's hmm? too much. So to do the, just let me show you once again how you can do this so that you get used to it. Just get to this um, um, four corner, whatever you can call it. I don't know what to call it. And then get to your video and then you pick it up, pick it up, bring it to where you want to put it, put it here. It's supposed to go there. So once you have that video icon there, all you want to do is just put in your own YouTube link or wherever you have your video link from. 
just copy it and put it there so i have my video link on my google document so i'll just copy it i'll just copy it and i will put it right put it right here That is how you get your video in there. So right now, we'll go ahead and work on the next section of our home page. And in this section, if you want to change this icon, all you have to do is to click on it. And once you get here, go to your icon library and pick whatever icon you want to pick and put there if you want to change it. Let's say I want to put uh, this one just insert it then the icon is changed and then change your wordings click on it and change your wordings as you want change your fonts i've already shown you how to do that click on this and change your picture and put the picture that you want which i've already illustrated to you let me put this picture sat media that's it so once you put in the picture and then you've written all you want to write here, which is quite easy. I've shown you how to put in your right up, how to change the fonts to whatever font you want, how to change the color of the text to whatever color that you want. From our original website that we are making, I think, um, yeah, I removed that one. So let me show you how to remove a particular section if you don't want it. Now this section i don't want it and i want to move it just go here and click on this x and the whole section will be deleted once you click on that x so the whole section is deleted now let's say you want to add another section so all you have to do is to go here and add a section and this will come out and then you will say add new section and then you find out do you want a plain section two sections or three do you want a single column two columns or three columns on this particular section so that's quite easy to do if you want two columns you just click on two columns if you want three columns you just click on three columns and it will form your three columns for you that is the three columns one two three for you to do whatever you want with it there are a lot of videos too online where you can learn how to use elemental it's quite easy to use a lot of videos where you can learn how to do it but if in the process of doing this you have any challenges you can just drop me a line in my website and i can assist you in whatever way that i can that is why we are going to stop in this video in the next video we are going to be doing uh, this particular section where you show your recent blog post this is what we are going to be doing in the next section so i'll put the link below so you can just click it and then continue with it thank you so much for watching and i hope you'll be able to watch the next section and all the sections so you learn how we created our blog page our about page our contact us page thank you so much for listening.